Hiya, Ten. I'm um, going to start with a really kind of shocking image. So if you've got your books um, open, yeah, it'll be really helpful. Um, and the sort of starter is to look at this image and think about why it upsets you and what you think it's representing. So obviously, if we were in class, I'd be getting you to put your hand up answer. But obviously, it shows um, a really, really dangerously thin polar bear um, stranded on a on an ice floe. Um, and it's a really good image to represent what's going on in the Arctic. And obviously, we've just done a unit of work at the beginning of the autumn term on ecosystems. And we looked at the Arctic and how it's a really kind of um, vulnerable ecosystem and how everything depends on everything else. Um, and so this image represents a polar bear, but obviously the impact is also felt on the smaller species as well from the phytoplankton to the fish to the seals to the polar bears and the human beings that live um, and rely on the arctic so the topic that we are going to be looking at over the over this period of lockdown is of climate change um by a lot of famous people. So no challenge poses a greater threat to future generations than climate change. President Obama. I'm often asked whether I believe in global warming. Now I just reply with the question, do you believe in gravity? A generation from now, historians will laugh at us for being more afraid of Iran than climate change. I believe humankind has looked at climate change in the same way as if it were fiction happening to someone else's planet, as if pretending that climate change wasn't real would somehow make it go away. Leonardo DiCaprio. And then obviously the classic Donald Trump. I'm not a big believer in global warming. Um, we've discussed, discussed quite a lot of this before and also in year nine. So it's quite a good unit to be doing during the lockdown period, because I think you'll be quite familiar with a lot of the issues. OK. So the topic is changing climate. It's paper one, topic two, changing climate. And today's learning objective is to understand how the climate of the earth has changed in the quaternary period. So one of the things you'll do following um, this quick video is watch the other YouTube link that I've put on, which is 13 minutes long and is a really good introduction to climate change. So you'll watch this and make some notes after you've done the tasks on this PowerPoint. OK, so a couple of key words then. Climate is the average weather over time. And climate change refers to the long term change in climate. Now, a lot of people get it confused. Um, and Donald Trump is a classic that gets it confused because he'll argue against climate change by saying things like, well, we had a really cold winter or the weather today is really cold. So surely global warming is not happening. But what we're seeing is a change in climate over time. So we're seeing an average change in the world's climate. And I have discussed this with you before, so hopefully you're quite familiar with it. You might want to follow in the PowerPoint, write these definitions down in your book. OK, so the learning objective is to understand and know the general pattern of climate change from the beginning of the quaternary period to the present day. Now, the quaternary period is the last 2.6 million years of Earth's history. So we're looking at a long period of time here, a long time in history. So again, the second task that you're going to do, so you're going to watch the video I've already mentioned, and then you're going to read the document that I have shared on Show My Homework, and you're going to use the document to answer the questions in your book. So the questions are on the screen, and all of the answers are in that document, so it should be fairly straightforward. When you're doing this, either print out the questions and then just answer them. Or if you're not printing the questions out, make sure that you write your answers in full sentences or you write the question and then you write the answer so that it's really good for revision purposes. OK, the last glacial period. So another thing is a lot of people say, well, we might have another ice age in the future. And who knows? We may well. But the last ice age or the last glacial period was 18,000 years ago. And as you can see, the UK was pretty much um, covered in ice during that period. 
Whereas today, over the last 18,000 years, the world has gradually been warming. And that's what we call an interglacial period. So a glacial period is a period of extreme cold where a lot of the land is frozen. And an interglacial is where a lot of the land is a lot warmer. OK, so the third task that I'd like you to do is looking at this graph, you're going to be describing what it's showing. So this is a classic exam type question. So it says, how has the Earth's temperature changed over time? Um, what you've got is a really long time scale of the Earth's um, climate. And you're looking at zero is actually the current temperature. So don't think that zero is you know, zero degrees, that isn't what it means. It just means zero is what the current average temperature of the Earth is. And when you look back in history, you'll see how there's several periods. Actually, most of the history of the Earth has been a lot cooler than it is today. So there's only actually been five spikes um, where the temperature of the Earth has been warmer than it is today. So that would kind of help Donald Trump in his argument to say, well, actually, the climate in the past, you know, if you look at kind of 320 BC, for example, there's a real peak where the temperature was about six degrees higher than it is today. So some scientists or some people would say, well, this surely shows that global warming is not caused by humans. This is just a natural thing. and We're just going through a period of warm climate. OK, so if you're looking at this graph, um, if you can print it and stick it in, that's great. But obviously, don't worry if you can't. You will um, you would have to write a kind of. Point explanation evidence about this graph. So, you know, what is this graph showing? I've picked out a few of the key areas that you might want to talk about, and I've also written a sort of paragraph that you could copy and fill in if you want to. But basically, I want you to stick the graph in and then explain a little bit about what the graph's showing. So saying what it's showing and why it's showing that. OK, so then what we go on to next is, OK, so if we look at the temperature change in more recent history, so this time we're looking at 150 years, as opposed to many thousands of years, so we're looking much more recently, you can see the average temperature has generally increased since 1870. So what I want you to do for the fourth task is look at this graph and describe the changes to global temperatures. So you don't need to explain this, you're just describing, you're just saying what the graph shows. So you need to write a little bit about the trend, a little bit um, of evidence, which means figures and years. So if you're saying the trend is that the climate has increased or the temperature has increased, then you need to say what the temperature was, what the temperature is, has increased to and what years you're talking about. And then are there any anomalies? So if you look at um, just after 1910, for example, there's a little bit of an anomaly there. There's also an anomaly in about 1940 where there's a big increase. So that's what I'd like you to do for the fourth task. Finally, I'd like you just to write a very brief summary of everything you've learnt. So um, just jot down the answers to these four questions in your exercise books. <laughs>